Hey friends, Ash here with GenSense. I've got a really cool video for you today. Today I'm gonna to be taking a look at a bunch of different products from Cremo Company. If you're unaware of who Cremo Company is, they make a wide range of products for basically any needs you could have as a fucking man. All of these products were sent to me for review by Cremo Company, so shout out to them for that. As always though, it has no effect on my opinion or the things I'm going to tell you. As always, I'll tell you guys exactly what I think about these. And later on in the video, I'm going to go over a giveaway that Cremo Company is sponsoring, which is, in my opinion, an awesome giveaway. So make sure to stay tuned for that because whoever wins the giveaway is going to get loaded down with some awesome stuff. Cremo Company makes a wide range of men's products that includes things like uh, shaving creams, shaving balms, beard oils, hair creams, hair gels, shampoos, shower gels, bars of soap, spray fragrances, solid colognes, face washes, and much more. I've got a bunch of products to go over with you today. I'm gonna to tell you what I think about them, how they work for me, how they smell, and just kind of do a quick breakdown on each one of these. There's a bunch to go over, so let's jump into it right now. People that have been subscribed to my channel for a while might remember that I actually reviewed a Cremo fragrance in the past. I bought their fragrance and body wash, reserve blend, and a pack together for $15 which by the way, is an awesome deal. I bought that from Target. I reviewed that one right at about a year ago, if memory serves me correctly. Like I mentioned, I bought that one at Target. You can find Cremo products at a variety of stores across the US. Reserve Blend is specific to Target, so that's the only place you're going to find that one. And then Walmart has some that only they carry. Like what I'm going to show you first is something you can only find at Walmart. And you can also find them in other stores as well, like Walgreens. So these are all across the US and you can find them on Amazon or the Cremo Company website side as well. So the first thing that we're going to take a look at is actually this, which is thickening shampoo. Bourbon vanilla is the scent. As I show you each one of these, I'm going to bring it up a little bit closer to the camera so you can get a better look. So here it is, Cremo thickening shampoo, bourbon vanilla. It has Cremo there on the side and a little information for you on the back as well. Actually, since I got this in, this has been the only shampoo that I've been using. Really, really nice. It's going to give you more of a spiced bourbon than it is a vanilla in terms of the scent. So the scent in this one is gonna come across spicy, a little bit woody, and then bourbon. I'm not an expert on shampoo or anything, but this seems to work very well. After this one runs dry though, I'll probably pick up another one, maybe try out another scent. That way I can check out each one of the shampoos that they make. Let's keep this rolling with body washes. I've got three here. I'm gonna show them to you really quickly and break them down very quickly as well. First off, silver water and birch. A sparkling aquatic scent inspired by the glacier fed streams of the Rockies. Here is the front and you'll see that inspiration that I just read right here. Again, Cremo on the side and a little info on the back and you'll actually find the notes for this one right here. So that's where it's gonna tell you how this is supposed to smell in the top, mid, and base. So yeah, this has a top, mid, and base the same way that you'll find in fragrances. So that means these body washes are formulated to change the smell a little bit as you use them. This one has a top of iced spring water, a mid of lavender, and a base of white musk. And I'm gonna to get to the fragrances here in a second, but one thing that you can do with these very well is use the body wash that is the same as the fragrance that you would use, or use a body wash that adds a layer that you would like kind of underneath the fragrance that you use. So for example, the Silver Water and Birch body wash, you could use that in the shower and then spray the Silver Water and Birch fragrance on when you get out, which will help you a little bit, sort of like a miniature version of layering fragrances. Again, not a body wash expert, like I'm not a shampoo expert, but this one smells really nice, works as a great kind of accompaniment to the fragrance. That Ice Spring Water Accord comes across a little bit metallic, as well as aquatic, obviously. It's really a great smelling body wash, probably my second favorite out of the three that I have. Next up, let's talk about this one, Sage and Citrus. A crisp, revitalizing blend reminiscent of the Pacific Coast. Here we've got the front. You'll notice this one is a little bit darker in coloration. And the back, again, with your notes here. This one has a top of mandarin orange, a mid of dry sage, and a base of warm woods. This one, to me, comes across a little more heavy on the sage than it does the mandarin orange. So it's slightly more herbal in feel than the last one that we talked about. It still smells really nice, but the next one is the one that's my favorite of the three, which is this one, Seagrass and Driftwood. An exotic scent inspired by the trade winds of the South Pacific. So here we go again with the front and then the back once more again with your notes. This one has a top of sea salt, a mid of green cardamom and a base 
of sun washed cedar. This one is my favorite body wash of the bunch. The sea salt very clearly comes through in this one. It does have a salty sort of mineral accord to it. At the same time though, it's very fresh, it's very clean. You get the sun washed cedar in that one as well and it reminds me a lot of those saltier summer fresh fragrances. Right now it's technically fall, but it's still really hot outside. So when I've been using this one, it just really works with how the temperature is right now. It smells really nice. Next up, I'm gonna talk about these refreshing body wipes and then we'll hit that giveaway and I'll let you know everything that entails before we jump into the colognes. So I was sent two packs of these. I've got sage and citrus here, blue cedar and cypress here. These do actually come right out of the little containers that they're in, but I wanted to keep these so I could show you how they look as well. And these also have scent notes, top, mid, and base. Basically what these are gonna be used for is for freshening up on the go. Or I guess if you needed to use them to clean something, you could do that too. This one, blue cedar and cypress, is supposed to come across like a refreshing woodsy scent reminiscent of an aromatic forest. Basically they just open up like so, you pull one out and you use it. I have used a few of these from each one of the scents just to test them out. Basically the way I would use them is putting them into a glove box, something like that. Then if you needed to freshen up, you could pull one of these out, give yourself a quick rub on your neck, upper chest, wherever you needed, just to freshen up if you're getting sweaty, dirty, something like that. Blue cedar and cypress has a top of lemon leaf, mid of cypress, and base of cedar. And then sage and citrus has top of mandarin, mid of dry sage, and base of warm woods, same as the body wash. Just giving you a quick look, this is how they come. And then you have your notes and a little more information on the back here. The fragrance in these is not super strong. It's not something that's gonna linger for a long time. It's basically just something, again, for freshening up. So it'll give you a little hit of fragrance. It'll take away any of the dirt or grime that you have on your skin, but that's not something that's gonna be lasting all day. You know, when you rub yourself down, that fragrance is something that's gonna linger for just 15, 20 minutes or so. Still though, these are very durable body wipes. They're not like baby wipes that are just gonna tear or something like that. You can really scrub down with these things and they're gonna keep their shape. All right, time to talk about that giveaway before we jump into the solid colognes, of which I have two, and then the fragrances, of which I have three. This giveaway is going to be USA only. I apologize to people from different countries that watch my channel, but I'll get you guys in the future. In order to be entered in the giveaway, you have to be subscribed to my channel and also Crimo Company's YouTube channel, which I will link below. To enter in the giveaway, you need to comment below that you want to be entered and also let me know which of the fragrances that I talk about you would be most interested in. That will get you entered. One week from this video going live at 8 p.m. Eastern, the giveaway will end. I'll pick a random winner with YouTube comment picker, and then on the community tab of my YouTube page, I will post the winner there. I'll have information in that post of what the winner should do, but basically they'll just need to email me and I'll pass their information on to Cremo. And the winner will get to go to Cremo Company's website and pick any 10 products that they want. Doesn't matter what, it doesn't have to be things that I covered here. 10 things, whatever you want, and they'll send it to you for free. You could pick shaving cream, shaving balm, beard oils, uh, shampoo, body wash, solid colognes, fragrances, these body wipes, whatever you want. 10 things. I think it's an awesome giveaway because whoever wins can basically just get fully stocked. You could get two shampoos, two body washes, two solid colognes, two fragrances, uh, beard oil, and some shaving cream. I mean, that's awesome. Good luck to all of you guys out there. Make sure to follow what I said. Subscribe here, subscribe to Crimo Company's YouTube channel, and comment below, and good luck, guys. Let's jump into these solid colognes. I've got two of them. Silver water and birch, blue cedar and cypress. They're going to come in a package like this. The little solid cologne sits down in there like that basically. Has the notes on the side, little information on the back on how to use it. Let me show it to you really quickly. So here you've got the front. Again, a little information on the fragrance down here. Then you've got your notes right up here on the side. A little information on the back and how to apply it down here. A lot of you may not be familiar with solid colognes, but these are really slick. They come like so, and you have your little cremo crown right here on the front. Then on the back, you have which fragrance it is that you hold in your hand. One thing that's really cool about these is they're really useful for travel. So I'm gonna stand up and show you guys this. This little pocket right here that we have in our jeans or pants, you can slide this right down inside there and you're good to go. So this stuff is very portable. Basically, you just slide this open like so and then you have the solid cologne right there. Just take your finger, give it a really good rub and then apply it wherever you want. Like here, for example, 
or on the inside of your arm. Hopefully that comes across on camera, but when you give it a good rub, it kind of activates, if you want to call it that. And then you put it wherever you want the fragrance. And really the travel friendly aspect of this is what I like the most. They're TSA approved, so it's not going to give you an issue. The fragrance from Solid Colognes lingers for a long time, but it doesn't project heavily. So don't expect that. There's a big difference between how a solid cologne comes off versus a more typical spray fragrance. The solid cologne will kind of sit close to your skin and provide you a long lasting scent, but it doesn't hit you with that big opening, those big top notes. It's more subtle. Still though, really useful to have these, especially if you're out on the town or something like that. You can just pop this open, rub it a little bit, and then apply it wherever you want and get a long lasting fragrance. Though again, not gonna be super loud. The Silver Water and Birch Solid Cologne gonna be similar to the Silver Water and Birch Body Wash. Though it heads a little bit quicker into the sun-washed woods part of the fragrance, uh, it centers more around the base than it does the top notes. And then the Blue Cedar and Cypress leans more into the cypress and cedar side of things than it does the lemon leaf. Those are very cool though, and I'm very glad to have those. Now let's break into what I know best out of all this stuff, the fragrances. I'm gonna keep this short so the video doesn't go too long, but I'll give them a quick breakdown. We've got three of them here. We have Blue Cedar and Cypress, we have Bergamot and Musk, and Silver Water and Birch. First off, I'll really quickly show you the boxes for each one of these, which have the notes again on the side. So here we have Silver Water and Birch, and there are your notes. Blue Cedar and Cypress, again, the notes on the side. And last but not least, Bergamot and Musk, again, with your notes. So in case you couldn't read those quick enough, Bergamot and musk is gonna come with the top of Sicilian bergamot, mid of exotic fruits, and a base of ambery musk. Blue cedar and cypress, top of lemon leaf, mid of cypress, base of blue cedar. Silver water and birch, top of iced spring water accord, mid of oak moss, base of sun washed woods. Bergamot and musk opens up with a very, very strong fruity bergamot accord. It's extremely fruit heavy, it's fresh, and it's sweet. It's a really appealing fragrance that would work very well in spring or summer, especially during the daytime when it's really hot outside. Once it dries down, it becomes predominantly musk. Now the official note for the base is ambery musk, which you would think would have maybe a little bit of a resinous kind of feeling to it, but the amber in the base here is much, much less prominent than the musk is. The best part of this fragrance is definitely the top and the mid, where the fruits and the bergamot are really dominating. It smells great. And it should go without saying, but the quality here is much higher than you would expect for the price. They're really not very expensive for everything that you're getting here. Next up, let's talk about blue cedar and cypress. Of these three fragrances, this one is the one that's gonna come across the most mature. This smells a little more gentlemanly, a little more sophisticated than the other two. It's also a little bit darker. This one would be better suited for spring or fall. It's one that you could wear day or night, and it really does focus more on the cypress and the cedar. So it's going to be green and woody. The lemon leaf in the top doesn't give off too much of a citrus feeling. It leans more toward, again, the green side of things. It even gives off a little bit of herbaceousness initially. And lastly, let's talk about silver water and birch. So first off with this one, you get the iced spring water record, which is going to have a little bit of an aquatic feel along with kind of a metallic backbone. This one is going to come across more brisk than the other two fragrances. You don't get too much oak moss in this fragrance. It's more about that iced spring water accord initially. And then as it dries down, it's more about that sun washed woody accord. Again, the quality on these fragrances much higher than you would expect for the price. One thing with all three of the fragrances though, is that they're not really heavy projectors. You get decent projectors for the first 45 minutes or so, and then they start to settle down and sit closer to the skin. Longevity wise, you're gonna be looking at about five hours typically for each one of these. Let's go ahead and take a quick look at these bottles as well. So here you have bergamot and musk with cremo on the side, blue cedar and cypress, and silver water and birch. And one thing that I actually like to do with these fragrances is to layer them. So for example, I'll take bergamot and musk, give myself a spray of that, and then spray on blue cedar and cypress over top of it. You get the big blast of that fruit and the bergamot and musk, and then you get that denser mid and base of blue cedar and cypress works really well together, at least off my skin. All right, guys, that's gonna wrap it up for this video. There was a lot of stuff to cover, but thanks for sticking with me. Again, another shout out to Cremo Company for sending this to me for review. Like I said in my video last year, this is great quality stuff at a great price. Again, if you're interested in that giveaway, make sure you're subscribed to my channel, to Cremo's channel, and also comment below. Good luck to you guys, whoever wins. It's an awesome prize. Thanks for watching, thanks for all your support, and I'll see you guys again next time with another fragrance video. See you guys.